When rain falls from the sky, usually it has no impurities. And when that rain reaches the Earth's surface, it can sink into the soil or flow over it. In a rural setting, water has more opportunity to sink into the soil, which is what nature intended. But if water flows over the ground, it can pick up lots of different things, such as fertilizers or animal waste as it makes its way to a pond or a stream. Picking up these contaminants makes the water, in a sense, dirty. We have to carefully manage the soil and landscape in order to minimize such problems. In an urban setting, there are fewer opportunities for water to sink into the soil, and a stormwater capture system will typically channel storm runoff, unfiltered, into a larger natural body of water, like a river. However, if that stormwater management system is enhanced with natural elements, like rain gardens and green roofs, that use soil, the stormwater that eventually reaches that natural body of water will be much cleaner, and that body of water will be much healthier. That's because soil happens to be a great water purifier. There are three ways that soil cleans water, physical, chemical, and biological. Soils are a great filter, but some soils are better than others. The size of the pores of the soil determines how effective it is at filtering water. As you might expect, a finer textured soil with many small pores is a better filter. On the other hand, soil that is too fine with too many small pores can block water. The ideal soil has a distribution of pores of different sizes so that it can both filter water and allow it to pass through. Soil has a negative charge that triggers the removal of positively charged ions in the water that passes through it. Ions like calcium, magnesium, and potassium are removed from the passing water and retained by the soil. Other chemicals are removed by the soil through a process called covalent bonding. Within the soil, bacteria and fungi transform and decompose certain chemicals. The nitrogen cycle is especially dependent on soil playing the role of a bioreactor. Soil microbes change organic forms of nitrogen into ammonium ions. Other soil microbes change ammonium into nitrate, and even more microbes may change nitrate into nitrogen gas, particularly in wet or flooded soils. This nitrogen gas then enters the atmosphere. Similarly, microbes go to work transforming and decomposing organic pollutants, so eventually they become carbon dioxide and water. The net effect of all this water filtering by soils is that stormwater runoff, when it eventually reaches a natural water body, like a lake or a river, is far less toxic. We refer to this as an ecosystem service because it's a process by which our natural environment improves our lives. We're all healthier because of it. Soil is the planet's biggest water filter. We need to find more ways to allow soil to provide this basic service to us so that we can keep our environment and ourselves more healthy. Mm -hmm.